Well, thank you, Kumsa. Now, priding themselves in putting black African writers and literature at the top of their literary meetup discussions, the Zuri Book Club is an all-female reading society that was formed about three years ago. And the group is passionate about books as well as cementing a reading culture on the continent. They have dissected a wide range of literary pieces from authors such as Tsitsi Dangarimba, Novairet Bulawayo, Michelle Obama and Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, to mention only a few. Now, Lisekho Powe and Mbalisikiti are founders of this club and they join me now in studio to tell us more about their literary journey and book discussions. Ladies, a very good morning to you and welcome. Thank you so good much morning. for having us. Thank you so much for having us. It's an absolute pleasure. Now, Liseho, I'm going to start with you. Uh, talk to us about when and why and how this book club was founded. So the book club started in 2015. We were coming, from, coming back from youth mm. camp. So all the founding members are part of Grace Bubble Church. And so we had come back from youth camp and it was exciting, amazing. And we were inspired to actually start this book club. Um, I was actually telling the ladies that the previous year I had started an accountability sisters movement where we are accountable to each other in terms of growing in terms of our academics, reading, running, health, having a healthy lifestyle in, yeah. in general. And mm -hmm. so I think that stemmed from that moment where Mbali came in and said, how about we start a book club? And so we, we started Zuri Book Club. It's mm -hmm. been in existence for about three years, like you said. Okay. And um, we're all about, you know, we're really passionate about reading and cementing and reading culture in Africa mm -hmm. amongst young people. And um, we label it Zuri because Zuri means uh, beautiful in Swahili. Okay. And we're all about a reading mind is a beautiful mm -hmm. mind. Yeah. I mean, what's the common thread or the commonality between all the founding members of this club? I think for us, firstly, right. it's the fact that we love books. Um, secondly, I mean, we all come from the same church. I mean, we were all friends. Yeah. But more than anything, we just have the same vision in terms of how we love empowering young women, firstly. You know, um, the philosophy of the book club was targeted at women, firstly. You know, uh, creating a beautiful mind within women and, you know, trying to shift their mind from superficial things, but also just trying to find the beauty in intellect and creating, um, empowering a young black woman. Mm. But now we're seeing that there are a lot of men who want to join in in our book club now. So now our focus has shifted from just females to now you know male so we just want to empower young people as well so um, I think for us the golden thread is the whole you know it's the whole notion of that we really want to make a difference and we want to give people back their voice and finding a beauty in your mind mm. you know as opposed to superficial things mm. yeah. I mean it's a good thing that uh, men are not left behind because uh, <laughs> yeah. everybody is a bookworm hey mm. Yes, yeah, definitely. Indeed. I think it's important to also just balance the scales a bit because mm. you, you find oftentimes that women are the ones that like to gather together mm. and, 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 and discuss books because we're very, we love to get into detail and talk about what we're going through yeah. and, and, and relating to the characters within the books. And mm -hmm. so it, it's really enlightening to also get, you know, uh, messages on, on, on social media from mm -hmm. guys that say, we're also interested. Is it only right, a woman right. movement yeah. or can we join in as men? Yeah. Right. And we are, and we always say to them you're more than welcome so right. we really would like more guys to also join in i think just right. another thing is that we when we started our first book review was by um elizabeth Gilbert, you know eat laugh pray and we're like you know what no you know we are black africans let's read literature that is about us that tells stories about mm -hmm. us you know we want to know about our history we want to celebrate our own writers so we shifted in the kind um kind of literature that we read so we literally just focus on african literature from mm. all over the world american you know we read tony morrison as well you know maya angelo just mm. across across the globe but we really focus on african literature because we want to celebrate our people you know and just the beauty in their writing as well i mean apart from elizabeth's book that you just mentioned mm. what is the first book uh, uh, that came to mind that you decided to read is it a book that was recommended to you or was it a book that you stumbled upon on bookshelves at a bookstore yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it's a book that was <laughs> recommended to us. So, yes. Kaya Sutole, the, 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 um, he's an accountant, right? Yes, yes he's an accountant lecture, I think, now. And, and a social commentator. Yeah. So I, I used to see a lot of his posts on Facebook and they used to be quite engaging. Mm -hmm. And I remember sliding into his DMs and saying to Kaya, Kaya Sutole, please just share with us the kind of books that you read. Because um, the way that he thought, how, how critical of a thinker he was, mm -hmm. was really attracted, attractive to us. And so he recommended some of the books. And um, 
the Madonna of Excelsior by Ndata Zeksimda mm -hmm. was yeah. one of the books that he recommended. Okay. And we started reading books by Ndata Zeksimda and we are really attracted to the kind of writing uh, that he, he displays. And mm -hmm. so those okay. are one of the, that's one of the books that we really enjoy reading. Apart yeah. from uh, Ndata Zeksimda, what are some of the books that uh, were in discussion and what sort of inspiration did you draw from it? I mean, Nervous Conditions was a big, uh, a big book. I think that was our second book. And um, at the time, we were still growing. You know, we were still, you know, a small book club. We're actually reading it again uh, okay. because now we've grown. We're about 20 members now. Mm. And, I mean, there was only like four of us when we started. Yeah. You know, now we're sitting on 20 registered members. You know, there are those who love visiting, but these are like the you know the consistent ones and we decided you know what we need to read this book again because people seem to love it so much you know and it's about really a journey of this woman who you know a journey of self-discovery uh, based in, in you know Zimbabwe just you know the mm -hmm. trials and tribulations she goes through in finding her identity and mm -hmm. finding her voice and finding an education in a system where you know it, 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 it dampens on women finding their voice and trying to True. be um, you know independent as well you know it's such um, it was based in a time where you know in families where patriarchy just says no the guy has to go and get educated uh -huh. and yet you find the girl uh -huh. you know was the one who actually loved yeah. education and she made something um, something of herself so for us that was such an empowering book because it actually speaks back to our vision of the woman finding her voice and not really letting society you know okay. silence her and yeah. so yes. these are the kind of books that we really find inspiration from i mean no doubt this is quite a noble initiative but mm. of course uh, the it comes with different um, um, personalities yeah. are, 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 are in these groups. There's issues of uh, friction, late coming. Yeah. How do you deal with those? Oh, yeah, late coming, <laughs> friction. It, 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 it exists. We won't run away from the yes. fact that it exists. And, you know, the interesting thing is that when we started, we were six. We were six. Yes. The founding members, it was six. six. And then two decided to, to uh, exit because of their own reasons. And, um, and there, was a, there was a time it was literally just two, two of us, two mm -hmm. and a half, because one lady, Lungila, was not sure if whether she's in it or not okay. but eventually she's like i'm all in and all right. um and then we, we we were four and and um so the thing that i've realized about working with people is that you have to understand different characteristics mm -hmm. sure. and how they are made right? right in terms of how they relate to people and so what we what we've done is that we've we've tried to understand people Right. in their nature. Mm -hmm. Ladies, please consider me as your latest member. Thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. much ladies. We do appreciate Thank your time. It we, we don't have much time, unfortunately. No well, problem. Those are the founding members of the Zuri Book Club, Lesa Kapoe and Mbali Skidi. And they joined us for a quick chat about their club uh, and their love for literature and latest discussions and meet up. Well, you can also join us for our Sunday book feature to talk about some of the books that you're currently reading or have read. Whether you're a lone reader out there or you belong to a certain book club, just send us some of your favorite picks. All you have to do is simply to email to Facebook or tweet us a picture or, or of the book or with the relevant caption by using our social media platforms. You can use our Twitter handle at Morning Life SAPC or hashtag Morning Life SAPC. You can also tag or send us a Facebook message on our page. That's Morning Life SAPC or simply send us an email on morninglife at sapc.co.za. This is Morning Life. We'll, uh, we'll have more news in just a moment.